would you rub a piece of dead meat on your body exposing soaps well you rub it on your face and all over your body every day every single day let's see how soap is made three ingredients are required to make soap that includes vegetable or animal oil water and lye which is a chemical these three ingredients mixed together in correct amounts chemically change into soap and the process is called saponification animal oil is obtained from animal fat and known as tallow or lard tallow is beef fat and lard is pig fat the fats from the kidneys and other organs are obtained during the slaughter of cow, sheep, goats and pigs. Then the fats are turned into oil by heating them. This oil or grease is used in making soaps. This tallow obtained from animal fat is the main ingredient of your soap. It doesn't smell like dead meat because it has been deodorized by steaming most high end soaps contain tallow soaps like dove are all tallow with oil added to them animal fats are not essential to the soap making process and the fat could come from anywhere but the industry chooses dead animal grease why because tallow is so much cheaper with thousands of animals being killed every day also the industry claims that the soap made with tallow are harder and better if more than half the people buying the soap are vegetarian and the rest don't want their bodies rubbed down with animal grease every morning well advertising ensures they're never told no soap manufacturers name the ingredients on the packet especially not about the animal fat the alternatives are so simple soaps can be made of vegetable oil coconut oil almond oil olive oil and many other oils which are so good for the skin but soapers choose tallow and lard over these oils to save money beauty without cruelty has a long list of hygienic soaps that you can easily find locally but please do your research before buying you need to know every ingredient mentioned at the back because mostly soaps company use words that we don't even know about just like tallow fat from pig meat is called lard in the west mostly soaps are made with lard and in pakistan and india mostly soaps are made with tallow nowadays there are technologies that could turn an animal into soap in a matter of hours some companies think that animals are not just necessary for their soap but it is necessary to test their soaps on animals as well according to research soap industry kill over 50000 animals a year in product testing how do they test toxic chemicals are fed to dogs whose mouths have been forcibly clamped open and their voice boxes surgically removed so that they don't make a sound these chemicals are poured into the eyes of rabbits and applied to the shaved skin of guinea pigs can soap with so much blood in its testing and so much dead animal grease in it make your body clean why do you want to waste money on soap Why don't you just take a slab of dead meat out of your fridge and rub it all over your body? There are a lot of soaps that are made with just oils and vegetable fat which you can buy if you don't want to use soaps made with animal fat. This is an awareness video and I wanted to tell you guys how your soap was made because when I first found out I was disgusted and I stopped buying such soaps.
I enrolled myself in a soap making program just so I could learn how to make vegan soap with vegetable fat and plant oils. I am a certified soaper and during my course I learned all about soap making and how they are made. The teachers told how it was cheaper to make soaps with animal fats and how good these fats are for skin which almost made me puke. Boys from my class were into the course to take it up as business and to form brands for money making and they liked the idea of using animal fat rather than vegetable fat as it was cheaper and easy to get. The very next day they even started experimenting with dead meat and making soaps out of it. Well at the end of the day it's all about our choices maybe some people don't mind using these soaps but i do if you were unaware of these facts about soaps you can find soaps that don't contain tallow or lard but don't forget to read the ingredients if this video help you in any way do subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the like button so you can see my upcoming awareness videos which will mostly include animals animal cruelty cruelty free products etc